you have been given a very prestigious fellowship. Can you tell us a little bit about it and why? It's called the Fellowship of the Royal College of Physicians, an award based around the UK medical education, although the RCP, the Royal College of Physicians, do have an international arm. And it was actually, I'm told, one of their members that nominated me to graduate, as it were, to a, a fellowship. You need to be nominated by someone else. And then they review the work that you've done since you qualified. And I qualified from medical school 17 years ago. So they kind of look at back at everything that you've been through and they're looking for people who's kind of had a positive impact on healthcare, looking at excellence, looking at innovative approaches, looking at collaboration and trying to improve things. You've been very involved and a very key figure in setting up the radiation therapy treatments uh, here on island. Specialising in radiation, it seems quite surprising that it wasn't an option on island because radiation can benefit about two thirds of people who are diagnosed with cancer and it can have a huge impact on their pathway. But it also, it's quite a long treatment. Um, so as, as too many people know, um, if you have radiation, it can go on for a couple of months sometimes. So having to go overseas at that really challenging time seems like an a unfair burden. We recognize that radiation is very technical, part of a big team. So it would be challenging to do it in isolation, which is when we came up with the collaborative model and ended up partnering up with Brigham and Women's and Dana-Farber Cancer Centre over in Boston. So as most people know, it's an exceptionally good facility with wonderful clinical workers over there, wonderful doctors, wonderful nurses, wonderful physicists, therapists, all the people that you need for a radiation unit. And so we designed that model of care so that we could confidently say that the quality of the care here in Bermuda was comparable with care that you can get anywhere overseas. The actual radiation plan is all designed over at Brigham in Boston, but delivered through our machines here. You are now a part of a national cancer control plan. Can you tell us about that? What a national cancer control plan is a strategy for cancer care moving forward, looking from the start of the path, looking at some lifestyle issues, looking at the diagnosis, looking at prevention, all the way through to treatment. And really, it's, it's taking the opportunity to look at everything we've got, because we've got some wonderful physicians on Ireland. We've got some really, really talented people. And it's making sure that all those resources are working collaboratively well together. Are breast cancer rates a little higher in Bermuda? The last time it was looked at, which was back in 2008, um, there was a study that looked at it. The suggestion is, yes, our numbers are slightly higher. Lifestyle and prevention and... I mean, sustainability of healthcare, not getting too deep, but obviously if things are getting harder and harder, we need to look at prevention equally with treatment, not just looking at what we do when cancer's here, but trying to stop it getting here.